What's going on YouTubers? Um, making a quick video just showing my uh, Xbox setup and my PC setup. Had a couple of people ask me recently, you know, they're just curious to see how I have everything set up. You know, I don't I don't upload a whole lot of videos, but you know, every now and then I do put a couple of gameplays up when I'm bored or I have time. Uh, but I did have some people, you know, ask me about what I've been doing on my PC. I've been updating a little bit, just trying to keep uh, everything up to speed since uh, the computer is actually about four years old now. So I did do some minor updates to it internally, and I also did some uh, uh, updates to it externally just to make it a little bit more appealing to the eye. Um, but basically, most of you that subscribe to my channel, and you know, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but uh, m most of you know that I actually do play Gears of War. Um, so this is the actual uh, monitor I play Gears of War 4 on. Um, this is a 27 inch Samsung PLS monitor. Um, so it's not a gaming monitor, but I will tell you on a PLS monitor, which is basically Samsung's version of an IPS monitor, um, the colors on this are fantastic. Um, and you can, you know, off angle, you can actually see the monitor too with no bad reflections. So that's the one great thing about this monitor. And I actually got it pretty, uh, for a good, pretty good price at Costco, believe it or not. Um, they don't sell this anymore, but this is an awesome, awesome monitor. It's a 27 inch monitor. Um, the only thing I'm thinking is it actually might actually be a little bit too big. So I kind of have to sit like far back here to make sure, you know, I can see the whole screen. But like if I tried sitting up here with my face up to the monitor, it's hard to see everything on the screen. So I actually might uh, downgrade to a 24 inch uh, this just to see if it makes a difference but uh, this is a Samsung PLS monitor 27 inch and this is what I play on um, sometimes I actually work on this too um, but here's my Gears of War 4 uh, Xbox One edition um, there's the controller there's a white controller um, so this is basically where I play uh, Gears of War 4 um, I have my actual work laptop here too, so I actually open this thing up and actually work while I play sometimes. So um, if I, you know, if I'm ever distracted while I'm playing, then it could be because I actually am working while I'm playing. Uh, so I can work from home sometimes. Um, my here's my work phone, iPhone 6, 128 gigs. Uh, I'm currently using. I decided to stick with the Astro A40 uh, TR, a tournament edition. Um, so here's the headset that I use. One thing I want to show you guys um, that I do uh, use now with the Astra A40. I don't know if some of you may have heard of this, but this is actually uh, uh, what's called a mod mic. So instead of using um, like a external, like a Blue Yeti or Snowball microphone, I basically attach this microphone um, to my Astros. See right there? So not only does the Astro mic record so people can hear me speaking, I have this mic actually recording onto my PC um, so you can hear it in my videos. Uh, otherwise, you don't actually hear me. That's the one thing. I don't know why they can't figure that out. Why you can't get party chat and game chat when you record with Elgato um, to be able to use this one mic to record everything. So you actually have to use a second mic. So I actually got this... Uh, uh, mod mic 5.0 this is the newest one and it actually works very well you I don't know a couple of my last videos I've been using this instead of a, uh, a blue snowball microphone and you know you don't hear me clicking on the controller anymore you just basically just hear my voice and it's loud and clear so if you've never heard of this I would highly highly recommend this, this is a mod mic 5.0 and right now you can only actually get it from their website so you just google mod mic you could uh, look this up so actually I actually wear I actually have this on my Astros too and this magnet is actually pretty strong so as you can see you can flip it up alright you can flip it up flip it down um, the mic is actually pretty good and the magnet's pretty strong there's also an inline mute switch too if you want to mute um, inline but usually what I do is I just flip it up okay and it, it stays on pretty good um, so when it's not in use I just take it off okay so that's my headset okay um, Here's my gaming chair, which I'm actually sitting on right now. Uh, I have a few different chairs. I just moved everything out of the way so I can kind of film everything right now. But this is a gaming chair that I actually sit on too. Um, um, not too bad. I actually like a mesh chair that I have in the back over there, that black one. Um, but this one's pretty comfortable too. It's nice and firm. So let's go over to my PC setup now. Um, here's my tri-monitor PC setup. 
Uh, I've had these three monitors for a while now. So this is actually, each of these monitors are a Dell 2715, I believe. Um, the three 27 inch monitors. Um, I, do, I use this for work sometimes, you know, stuff that I do uh, at home for whatever. Um, I think it's just convenient to have three. I started with one in the middle, then I put one on the side, and then I just added a third for the hell of it. Um, so right now they're off, um, but I'll turn them on in a second. Uh, also, if, as you can see back here, I don't know if you can see or not, but I have the NZXT Hue Plus lights going on back here. All right, right now I have it on Spectrum Wave. So I'm gonna turn off the lights later so you can see it, but uh, I added that just recently because I just want a little bit more light when I have all the lights off in the in the living room here. Um, so it gives it a nice effect and it gives it, it's just cool. I like it because um, it lights up the room a little bit and I don't have to have all the, the, the hi-hats on. So as you can see, you got a, a pretty high ceiling up there. Okay, so I don't have to have those lights on and these lights on the back here um, light up the whole PC area. Um, so those are my three Dell monitors. Um, this I just picked up. Um, I'm trying to, as you can see, I'm going the going RGB everything. Um, I, I always like things to be bright and colorful, and this seems to be the newest thing, and I, and I, I like it. It's cool. Um, I gotta get used to the keyboard a little bit. It is a mechanical keyboard, gaming keyboard. I don't really game on PC, but I, I just like the look of uh, the keyboard, and it is made of aluminum. So this is a very well made. If you look at this cable, it's really thick. Um, I like this uh, wrist rest right here. You can flip it. This side's a little bit rougher. I haven't even taken off the plastic off yet. Um, this side's a little bit um, rougher. If you like that texture feel, this side's a little bit smoother. I like it smooth, so I leave it on this side. Um, so that, literally, I just picked this up. Uh, I like this keyboard. It has Cherry MX Brown switches, meaning it's not the quickest for gaming purposes. Um, but I like the brown better, more for typing, because I type more on this keyboard more than I game. But as you can see, the lighting, um, it's got different, you know, different patterns, different profiles I have on it. Right now it's going in a clockwise pattern. This pattern, you know, I have it breathing, it's called. I have it going, alternating with white and green. Those are like kind of the razor colors, even though it's a Corsair. Um, but the reason I have white and green is obviously because I do have a Razer Tournament Wireless Mamba Gaming Mouse. Okay, right now it's on. This is also called. Um, it's like a. Basically, it's called a Wave. All right, I have it on Spectrum uh, Wave, where it's basically selecting through all the different colors. Okay, um, there's the charging base for it. It's also cycling through the same colors. Um, that's the Razer Firefly Mouse, which a mouse pad, which uh, the mouse is actually sitting on top of. Uh, so as you can see, I got the whole RGB light scheme going on right now. Uh, I'm gonna come down here real quick to my PC. Uh, just I, I built this computer about four years ago and I've been updating it a little bit here and there. As you can see, I upgraded the fans. These are the NZ XT AER RGB fans. So I have two 120 millimeter fans in the front. All right, uh, right now I have everything on Spectrum Wave. So it's cycling through all the RGB colors and it's alternating through each. On the inside, on the top, I also have two 140 millimeter fans on the top, so it's venting the air out this way. All right, um, and then on the inside, I recently updated my graphics card. Uh, I don't uh, game on 4K, uh, so I just got a graphics card that was enough for my needs. This is the um, Sapphire Nitro. RX 488 gigabyte, which is actually perfect uh, for me because uh, my monitors are basically 1080p. Um, and then I upgraded the memory to 32 gigs of uh, Corsair Vengeance memory, as you see there, the red dim sticks. Um, and that's my liquid cooling. As you can see, it's actually green. Um, so the coolant is green, which actually adds a nice color to uh, the case. Uh, I also recently uh, changed some of the cables. As you can see, I have the white individually sleeved cables. Those are made by SilverTech. I think the most common ones are cable mod. Um, but since my power supply was not modular, I just use these extension cables to give it that customized look. So um, that adds a, a nice effect to the inside of the PC. I added uh, the white cables, uh, the silver tech cables to, to the video card. So it gives you that more of that customized PC look. Uh, and this PC has actually been running pretty well for me for four years now. Uh, like I said, I've just been updating a few things here and there. Um, 
I'm not sure if you can see this, but that is my internal Elgato HD60 Pro. Uh, basically my, my HD recorder, how I record um, when I play Xbox. So the reason I got the internal card was because it just records a lot faster and it utilizes this PC. I used to use the, the regular HD60, um, but there was a little bit of lag with this internal one. I can basically almost play my Xbox off the PC monitor. That's how instantaneous uh, it records. So, you know, I went internal. I decided instead of using a laptop and using the HD60, I went with the internal uh, Elgato card and it's actually been working pretty, pretty good for me. Um, so that's an upgrade that I made a few months ago too. Okay, uh, so that's my PC. Uh, this is the NZXT Phantom 410 mid tower case. Um, if you look in here, I don't like to leave bays empty, so I added some USB ports, DVD, RW drive, and a lot of um, multimedia card uh, card uh, drives, card readers. Okay, so if you want to see the full RGB in action, let me turn off the lights. Okay. Wow. Pretty cool. Okay, so I got the RGB lights in the back of the monitors. All right, and you can change those. I can make them solid color, one color. I can make them alternating colors. Um, right now, I just have them on Spectrum Weave. So I'm cycling through all the different colors right now. All right, there's the Corsair keyboard. Pretty cool. Razer Mamba Tournament wireless mouse with charging base next to it. And the Razer Firefly mouse pad. And there is my uh, PC tower with the uh, AER RGB fans from NZXT. Okay, um, I have the, uh, the CPUs overclocked currently. It's an older CPU, it's an i7, I think 3770K. I overclocked it from 3.5 gigahertz to 4.5 gigahertz right now. Uh, and let me turn on the monitors. So you can kind of see what I, how I record. Okay, this one, I usually actually leave these on, but I turned it off for the video. Let me see if I can get in there. Okay, so basically, hold on. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is the PC that I used to record my gameplay on. Here's the screen, the Elgato Game Capture HD screen. So as you can see here, and what I'm going to show you, which is pretty cool, is right now, I'm using this controller right now. As you can see, if I slow this down, as you can see, there's like a slight delay from when I move the joystick to what happens on the screen. Remember, this is not, this is the recording screen for my reference, but that slight delay used to be about five seconds um, when I use the external Elgato Game Capture, uh, Game Capture HD. Now it's literally like a fraction of a second. So I really wanted to, I could play off of this, but you know, obviously I don't since I have the monitor off to the side over here that I actually play on right here. So here, let's see the difference. Okay, this is what it looks like with no delay. Okay, and now this is what it looks like. Obviously, it's got a, you know, the Xbox One is plugged into the Elgato Game Capture and, and then that's connected to this monitor. So as you can see, there is still a slight delay. It's playable, but it's not nearly as delayed as when you use the external recorder which is why I decided to use the internal, okay? And it just records to my computer faster, it creates the MP4 files faster, it does everything faster. So, um, let's put that back. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is basically what I record my gameplay on. Um, like I said, I don't record a whole lot anymore, um, but this is my setup. Uh, 
know, I tried gaming on all three monitors, but it's like it's literally too big. So it's a, it's actually a little bit too much to view. Um, so really, I just play off this one monitor. This one monitor is enough. Okay. Um, so I think that's really all that I have to show you guys. You know, I just want to let everybody see what I've been kind of working on. Like I said, I just added the lights in the back, upgraded my keyboard and mouse and mouse pad. Um, I updated the PC a little bit. So, you know, you would think that I would game more on the PC, but I'm, I'm really not a huge gamer to be quite honest. Um, but I do like to keep my computer up to date. So, which is why I kind of added everything. I kind of like to stay up with the trends. And at the same time, you know, to be honest, it's a little, little corny, but um, I feel better when everything's newer and brighter and, you know, I know everything's modern and up to date. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, I think I'm going to get on and try to play a little bit of Gears now. But I just want to see everybody, let everybody see, you know, um, my RGB setup um, with the three monitor screens, uh, the new Corsair keyboard, um, and the Razer mouse. Um, to me, I, my favorite part of this setup right now is the NZXT Hue Plus LED lights and the back of the monitors that I have set up because it really, it really lightens up um, this whole area. So I don't even need the lights on in the living room. Um, so, uh, any questions about any of the stuff that I have here? Uh, let me know. Like I said, um, I, you know, this is a, a typical RGB setup. You know, I'm sure there's other RGB setups out there, but um, this is mine. So I just want to share that with everybody. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I showed you, whether it's the mod mic or the NZXT Hue or the keyboard or the mouse, or you know how I set everything up, um, the video card, anything, hit me up, let me know, leave a comment. Uh, if you liked the video, let me know. If you don't, then that's fine too. Later.